député de Mamrinko Tantrama. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm uh, standing today to, to speak to Bill 33, an act respecting the public health information solution. And uh, this is, as the, the minister outlined, part of a larger community e-health information technology strategy, which will help uh, contribute towards better health through digital information systems. And more generally, I have seen firsthand the problems that can arise out of adequate tracking of things such as vaccinations um, and other things within the, the health care system, such as allergies or, or procedures that have been done. And so there is a, a long way to go in terms of um, digital records and making sure information is being tracked uh, appropriately. And specifically, this bill looks at uh, tracking vaccinations against communicable diseases. Uh, and, and this is, is very timely. We right now have two cases of the measles in New Brunswick, at least, and two more unconfirmed cases in St. John. And uh, we, are, we absolutely need to, to prioritize tracking. Um, who has been vaccinated, uh, ensuring that uh, we are prioritizing public health. That means strengthening our public health department, ensuring it's properly funded, and especially as we face the resurgence of things like measles, and as the climate changes, we are seeing different uh, diseases move uh, northward. So we need to have a strong public health department uh, in the face of that as well. Uh, this legislation appears to be a step in the right direction in, in many ways in terms of uh, the, the record keeping um, and, and one of the, the points is to help the education department have access to um, the state of immunization in, in the schools, especially in, in the face of potential outbreaks of, of different diseases. Uh, I know uh, people who have lost cards, uh, their little immunization cards before. And that was the only place that their, their immunization record had been written down. And it's rather difficult to piece together their immunization history uh, if that little piece of paper uh, gets lost and if it's not being tracked elsewhere. And this, um, this topic brings up uh, some, some bigger issues and we need to make sure that as we're making these decisions um, around public health that, that science um, is key for the decision making that we need to be looking at the evidence and and while there there are people who are unable to um, receive vaccines especially if they're you know compromised um, one of the reasons that we need to to have adequate uh, levels of vaccination in our community is to have herd immunity to protect those who are most vulnerable who are unable to to receive vaccines and associated with that in addition to uh, better record keeping, we also need uh, education of the public around uh, vaccinations, immunizations. So I do have some questions that, uh, that I will ask when we get to committee about exactly how certain decisions will be made with respect to not only we need to protect public health, but we do need to make sure that, that individual rights are protected. And I, I, I will have questions um, about some details in the legislation, and I look forward to having a chance to ask them when uh, Bill 33 gets to committee. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.